It is a great time to be a women's basketball fan, and few places better to be one than Iowa. Next season, it's likely Iowa and Iowa State both start in the top 10. Each has a homegrown All-American, Ashley Jones from Iowa City and Caitlin Clark from West Des Moines. Clark led the nation in scoring and assists. First woman to do that. Wasn't enough for her to win National Player of the Year, but she did add LeBron James, Kevin Durant, and Steph Curry to her fan club. Clark also helped Iowa sell out Carver Hawkeye Arena, a once unthinkable three straight games. The Big Ten Network also had its highest rated season of women's hoops ever, up 41%. The Big Ten and NCAA tournament set attendance records and ads for the Big Dance completely sold out before the first game even tipped off. Ratings were up double digits. Nearly 5 million people watched the championship game. That's the most in 14 years. The women also finally had a first four and were allowed to use March Madness for the first time, something long overdue. Now, there's more work to be done, as pointed out repeatedly in the NCAA's Gender Equity Review, the Kaplan Report. But there's also considerable growth and room for more. Women's basketball need not be constantly compared to the men's game. It's true, far more people watch NCAA men's basketball, and it generates far more revenue. There are myriad reasons for that. Steps are slowly being taken to give the women's game its due. But even then, just enjoy it for the great game it is. And if it's not your thing, that's fine too. I never understand people who feel the need to denigrate the sports they don't like. To paraphrase Coach Norman Dale, enjoy the women's game for what it is, not what it is not. It's already good and only getting better. And if you're here in Iowa, you have a front row seat.